Is it always Taco Tuesday for you? I'm going to tell you what that has to do with sexual intimacy, but first, thanks so much for joining me today. I'm Mary Whitman Ortiz, relationship coach and Christian sex educator, and I love to help couples create great intimacy in their marriage. I also love to train leaders to bring sexual wholeness to their people. And we're going to unpack all of that. And if you like this, please click that button to be notified and you can subscribe and Every Friday, I have new videos to help you with sexual wholeness. So let's get back to that taco question. What do tacos have to do with sexual intimacy? Well, you know, it's about your preferences. If you love tacos, then that is your go-to. But I actually love sushi. That's my go-to. We have preferences in every area of our life, including sexual intimacy, and you need to know what your preference is. So I'm going to challenge you that your best step to take, your secret to sexual wholeness is to know your preference sexually and then be able to share it. Share it in a way that your spouse can respond to. What happens if you don't know your preference, you don't share your preference? Well, um, creates a lot of confusion, a lot of frustration. You've probably been living through that, right? And there's this whole blame scenario. You're supposed to know what I like. Why don't you do that? We think our spouse is a mind reader, and that is never the case. And we can just um, set up some ill will and that usually is more distance, more issues to get through. We don't even know what is really going on there. So when you don't know what you want and you don't know how to ask for it, it is creating problems that maybe you never put your finger on. What happens when you do know your preferences? You do ask for these. Uh, well, that brings clarity that brings peace. Everybody feels more comfortable. They feel like they can show up. You know, they um, have open doors to communicate. So one level of openness leads to another level of openness. And then you get to take some risk and explore with your spouse. You get to deeper levels of enjoyment. And I absolutely believe that this will be physical, yes, but spirit, soul, and body, because God designed for intimacy in marriage to be a blessing to the total person. Now, this may sound great, and you're like, oh, but I need some steps. So I have three steps for you to know your preferences. Here we go. Number one, release the shame and taboo that you may have taken on from messages from your family, from your culture, from society. Um, the releasing part has to happen before you can do something new because you got to get it out of you and you have to own it to get it out of you. So it's a big first step, but it's an important first step. Step number two, put yourself in agreement with God's guidelines. This is God's plan for you to enjoy sexual intimacy in your marriage. And so when you get all the junky thoughts out of your mind and you choose to meditate on the goodness God has for you, that brings such a shift. And then number three, you can begin to explore with your spirit, soul, and body and um, just invite yourself into this place, which, as I said, sets the tone for your spouse to be in a beautiful place of enjoying your um, intimacy. Now, I hope that's encouraging. And if you are a ministry leader, a mental health professional, a um, wellness advocate, marriage coach, and you want to help your people to have great sexual intimacy in their marriage, check out my sexual wholeness training. It's going to be held on July 15th. It's virtual, but it's live. And it's not just a workshop. It is a whole year of support. There's a membership that comes with this. And you even get some private consultations so you can figure out what's the best thing for this couple that I'm working with right now. Please check 
in the links here how you can sign up for that. I believe it's going to be amazing for you. And remember, God's original plan for intimacy makes marriages strong.